Wow, handsome T. Super chat spree to all the comedians I clowned. You did? You clowned me? If you did, I didn't notice. I'm sorry. But thank you. Alex Stein's been doing some good clowning lately. I wasn't planning to talk about this, but there is a really great clip of him <laughs> in a puppy mask. The best is when I hear about <laughs> an Alex Stein prank through somebody that's not him. Like when it's a uh, an outsider's account or a recording of him. And they're like, look what this guy's doing before realizing that it's him. Okay. <laughs> Puppy play is not a crime. Please stop doing this to our troops. Oh, God bless Alex Stein. Everything down on the line. This was, Everything down on the okay, line. This is, I lost. This is the Baltimore County Council meeting. I think. There's a version of this clip I saw where they're like letting him into the meeting. So I guess he just clipped it for his his portion. That's of one of my testicles in Iraq, <laughs> not when I was working for Halliburton, not while I was in the military after, mm -hmm. but it was a very bad accident. And now I'm unable to do a lot of the stuff that I was able to do as a young man. So just leave it at that, because I understand. That <laughs> you just never know what you're going to get here, folks. You just never know what you're going to get. Here. That's right. That's what they're our doing. final speaker this uh -huh. evening is look how Alex. Alex stupid they look with these plastic sheets in between everybody still. Stein. Mr. Stein, Stein, you are a panelist. You may begin your testimony. Let's see. Have anybody when they say his name, is it, does anybody know it's him? Oh, these people, these people don't know what's up. They're not, they're not with it. They're not hip. In your testimony. <laughs> Uh, oh, hey, guys. Sorry, my <laughs> my camera. I'm having trouble, but I'm here speaking uh, to the county council because, guys, I'm getting scrutinized. I've been kicked out of the force. I like that he always sounds out of breath. Because I'm into what is called puppy play. Mm -hmm. And because of this, I've been extradited from D.C. <laughs> and now I have to stay uh, here in Baltimore. Okay, this guy in the corner here is, is catching on. Smiling. Is this almost a smile? The old guy's like, I don't know what the fuck. I want to know whoever's doing Alex Stein's taxes. I would be so curious to know like what his prop section looks like, like his write-offs for various costume costumes, <laughs> trips to council meetings. Uh, that in and of itself would be funny. Here in Baltimore. Like and I have to write off this puppy mask. I'm sure he ordered it from Amazon. It's probably like 50 bucks. And he's, and you know what? He's probably going to just keep it around because you never know when you need a puppy. I don't like it. I want to be able to go back to D.C. and play with my other puppies. I miss being in the barracks <laughs> and sniffing their dairy air and barking all night. And now, because of racist prejudices, because I identify as a puppy, because there are a lot of bigotry. <laughs> okay, this guy's kind of laughing. This lady's like, what the fuck? He looks concerned. A lot of these people hate their jobs. Keep that in mind. Like, this is the most entertaining thing that will happen for most of these people. Like, as long as they work here. They love this shit. And racist type people in the military now that are causing me a lot of distress and making my lifestyle very hard. And I think the hands in front of the face is to keep us from seeing this guy smile or laugh. My husband, Rodrigo, he, he supports me as much as possible. But Last. you're not going to let, let let Rodrigo be the victim of hate because he wasn't in the military. He was here. He's an illegal immigrant. All right. He crossed the Rio. Uh, so good. Uh, He's hitting all the things that you're not supposed to be critical of, like the illegal aliens, whatever the fuck this is. Barely almost drowned. All right. So he did a lot to come here to this country. So I'm not going to have my husband, Rodrigo, demonized by the military. And I'm not going to let Washington, D.C. with those fat cat politicians try to dictate my lifestyle as being degenerate <laughs> because it's not. My lifestyle is normal. This is 2022. If you got your 2023, excuse me, I don't even know the year because I'm so hopped up. I'm so <laughs> emotional. I'm so upset. And the times are changing. And until you guys hop on board. <laughs> Rodrigo gets mad if I don't bark. I know, <laughs> sir, I'll be there. I'll be there, Rodrigo. Just get there. I'll be there in two seconds. But what I'm saying is <laughs> I'm sick of the persecution that I'm facing. We live in a country now and where I've you can identify. break once, like, oh, he's, this is, he has many skills, Alex Stein, but like not breaking during this. He gets laser focused on his script and he's just like, 
forgets about everything else. whatever you want. And so if I want to identify as a dog, then I should be respected as such. And if I want to make my commander walk me around with a leash, then he should do that. I should not be dishonorably discharged because uh, I have uh, a... This is perfect timing, right? Because didn't they just say that in, in the army now, they can't, they're going to stop with the saying, yes, sir. I'm sure that inspired this idea because of the gender norms imposed by saying sir in the military a sexual fetish that is totally normal in this day and age so i'm acting i'm asking you politely <laughs> and respectfully counsel i need you to stand up for people that have these sort of fetishes now you look at drag queen story hour for children it's happening yeah. all over baltimore why don't we have puppy play time for children that's oh. what we need we need to get this we need more puppy play <laughs> flags in elementary schools every elementary school has a trans flag every elementary school has a rainbow flag why don't we have a sexual fetish for a puppy play flag in elementary schools these are issues that are important oh. to your constituents oh yeah you guys sit there and you make <laughs> outcasts like me it, this is the best this is the best because it makes you think like damn there is a trans flag in every kindergarten or in their every kindergarten room there is a pride flag like that's it's like it, it makes people go, God damn, have we already gone too far? Washington, D.C. outcasts, people that have lost their whole life. I mean, I lost everything. I laid everything down on the line. <laughs> I lost one of my testicles in Iraq, not <laughs> when I was working for Halliburton, not while I was in the military after, but it was a very bad accident. And now I'm unable to do a lot of the stuff that I was able to do as a young man. So just leave it at that, because I understand this is a council and that we have to have some sort of decorum. But at the same time, you need to respect Sir, me. And your my time is up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Rodrigo. Well, <clears throat> like I said, you never know what you're going to get here at the county council in Baltimore County. Uh, obviously, uh, we thank you for your comments, Mr. Stern. Stern. I like that he said, you never know what you're going to get here. This is the most exciting county in the world. Good job, Alex. Oh, yes, this is what I saw. From Leah Russell. Who is Leah? Leah off the leash. Okay, she's just like a regular person. She's a reporter. Someone claiming to be military is testifying before Baltimore County Council claiming he's getting kicked out for identifying as a puppy. This is great. Primetime Ben Bottom Blimp strikes again. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. God, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.